Hi, so my name is Reka Shoimashi. I'm a lecturer in quantitative methods at the School of Law based in the University of Manchester. And I'm going to talk very quickly about who I am professionally. So I received my PhD from UCL, a uh, joint between Department of Civil Engineering and Crime Science. Um, well, I had a background in neither. Um, I came from an undergraduate degree of sociology. I had an interest that spanned both disciplines. I wanted to be able to measure people's behavior, um, but in a way that it has not been measured before. And for this, I had to develop my own tool. And I had no technical skills or, or knowledge, but I managed to do this um, with quite a lot of uh, perseverance at time, but I enjoyed it. And I thought that it was a very valuable experience uh, to learn these skills and to be able to, to create something that was a research tool. However, I found that it was very difficult to receive support or even acknowledgement for a lot of the types of work that I was doing. Um, and so instead, what I found helpful was to create my own community and to try and find people in various disciplines, ranging from computer science to geography to, to anthropology, who uh, valued and appreciated and wanted to learn about these sorts of skills. And the uh, way that this really shaped me as a researcher is it showed me the value of having a supportive community. So after my PhD, I went to work for Transport for London, not as a bus driver, but instead as a crime analyst. And I found there, again, that there was a lot of people from different skills, who uh, different backgrounds, who had different sort of ideas of, of how to do their research. But there wasn't a lot of sharing of those ideas. There was a lot of parallel working in silos. And so what we did with a couple of people is we set up a, a user group around based around uh, people who use the statistical software called R. And we started sharing code, we started sharing best practice, we started having monthly meetings, and eventually the group grew from four people to 40. And it involved not only people who use the software, but people who would be interested in it, or people who didn't yet know they would be interested in it, but we thought um, that we could engage them. So what do I do now? Um, as I mentioned, I'm a lecturer based in the School of Law. My title is Lecturer in Quantitative Methods, which I can find a little bit isolating. My colleagues tend to define themselves by the domain, and they tend to uh, stand unified in that they research crime or they research uh, criminal justice issues. But I stick out, and it's acknowledged quite frequently. Um, while colleagues appreciate my skill set, they tend to ask me for help, um, and I turn up in things like acknowledgements, uh, because the real value is still understood to be in the domain. And so I couldn't find my community, which brings me on to what I would like to do um, as a potential fellow for the Software Sustainability Institute. And my plans basically revolve around community. In the first instance, I would like to use both my uh, possible fellowship and, and the funds that come with it to foster community. And I've started building a bit of a community already. So when I first got here, I went and I presented at the Manchester R user group, which was a great experience, but it didn't quite feel like a small community. It was quite large and they don't meet very frequently. So instead, I took over the running of the University of Manchester's uh, R meetup group um, with a colleague from uh, the natural sciences and together uh, we organize monthly meetings um, we have members from all across the university so it includes people from places like biostatistics where they come in groups of five or more uh, because they do have that sort of environment and support but it also includes people like me who are almost these lone wolves and, and this uh, group serves as a venue for people to come together, share code, share experience, practice presentations, and so on. So it would be great to, to be able to, to use the funds to invite speakers um, who are known in the art community, uh, as well as speakers from industry and from uh, public sector, um, to encourage people to look on these meetings as more than just a little get together where we all share our code problems, but as an avenue to explore future possibilities for employment, for 
uh, applications of research and, and for, for impact as well. I have also started returning back to my roots as a crime analyst um, and reaching out to police forces across the UK to introduce sustainable software in their crime analysis practices. And finally, I would very much like to join the community. Listening to fellows fills me with a lot of hope um, that I can still find my community while also being integrated in a place where I feel like I could give back and I could bring people on board and I can promote the, the practices um, and the values that I also believe in of uh, recognizing software tools and, and re creating research practices and recognizing these as valid output and similarly promoting access and, and promoting the use of the best available software and best practice and sharing uh, code in the community and groups. So thank you for listening and please choose me.